ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल और इफ यू डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल जस्ट गो टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब मेक श्योर दैट क्लिक ऑन दिस बेल बटन एंड चेक मार्क दिस सेंड मी ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन से बाय डूइंग दिस यू विल गेट एवरी सिंगल अपडेट ऑफ माई न्यू वीडियोज ऑल्सो विजिट माई चैनल आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट मोर कूल स्टफ ऑन माई चैनल In this video we are going to create a feather photo effect in Photoshop CS6 extended it will be fun so let's jump in Photoshop Welcome back everyone My name is Nan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we'll create a feather photo effect. So before we start let me just uh, sh uh, tell you something is that uh, if you are having problems to download these actions don't be worry about that just comment under the uh, under the video and uh, I will try my best to reply as soon as possible and uh, if some actions are deleted from the blog you, you don't want to have to worry you just need to tell me and I I really upload them. Uh, instantly so this is what i want to talk about and uh, second thing is that thank you so much for subscribing my channel and uh, we have crossed 5700 subscribers and i'm really happy because we have done this thing in this uh, uh, in previous month but in this month i am really happy because of uh, your great response on my channel and uh, please keep responding and it's really uh, important for me because i really want to know about your choice what you guys really want on this channel and uh, i am trying to learn some deep photo manipulation because i really don't want to do a major photo manipulation okay so i really want to do some part, some deep tutorials so that's why i'm working on that and uh, i'm little busy in my project also so that's why i cannot pay lots of time to uh, to my channel so sorry about that but uh, definitely after next month i hope if my viva will be passed about my uh, for my project then i will come back and then we will dominate this photoshop because i'm really really excited to get start with some photo manipulations uh, some people are very inspiring so I really love their work like Rafa A and uh, and uh, I think I just watched the Rafa A because it's great person and really amazing work in his hand and uh, I'm really a fan of him so that's why uh, uh I have started my work uh, about 2 years ago and he started his work about 1 years ago that's why but he's really talented man so I also want to do photo manipulation with my own style and with my own uh, techniques so I hope you will like my videos and please watch my manipulation videos also because I really pay lots of attention to my videos so let's jump in photoshop uh okay so today as i uh, tell you that we will create a feather photo effect so before we start let me just show you some examples so we could uh, have an idea what we will create today so first of all uh we will create a uh, Uh, selections about on our characters then uh, we will give some uh, area to be created effects and then when we will run our actions the final results will be look like this you can see that it looks amazing and perfect okay and it's really lovely so this is the effect and i hope you like this effect also so we will close this and we'll move to this effect and uh, you can see that creating selection then creating a uh, running our action uh, we will give some uh, area to be affected and then running our actions and the results are insane you can see that it looks amazing and perfect detail uh, it's amazing so let's just close this one also and uh, let's just move this one this is simple example getting selection give direction and run our action so that's the final output and uh, crazy thing amazingly but perfect so i hope you like this one also so let's just close and uh, we will see this one creating selection giving direction and running our actions as uh, this one perfect and lovely so let's just close everything from here and we will use this image today uh this image i hope you like this one and uh, 
let's start our work uh, how we will start is simply just create any document you can create new document or you can use this image also so let's just use this image by default so press C call up your crop tool the, the purpose for this tool is to give an area to wider so we could see the more extra effects before we start any we do anything else let me just uh, rotate this go to image image rotation and go to flip canvas horizontal that's it and now we'll go to crop tool by pressing c from your keyboard give this click here and we'll simply just click on this side uh, corner and we'll spread this out like this a uh, little bit smaller maybe yes uh, oh no it's nice here or a little bit more yes now click on this check mark simple and press v and that's it and now you, you can see that this area is empty don't worry about that just select your rectangular marker tool select the area which you want to be spread like this area and uh, just create selection around this press ctrl j press ctrl t stretch this out and the area is completed there is no big difference you can see that it looks perfect there is no big deal and this is my personally created uh, technique i really love this thing so press shift select both of these layers and press ctrl e now we have a background layer now it's time to load or uh, we can say that give some uh, prepare our data so how we can do that just create a new layer name this layer as a brush okay so on this layer we'll select our brush tool select a hard brush and uh, change the color to any color and uh, size it down and fill the cell uh, fill the area which uh, fill the overall area of your character okay so the action will be configured that this area will be our main area or focused area okay so let's just try to create selection maybe it works on this image i hope so so let's just select our background layer and we will try to select create selection okay so i have done my selection it takes a little time because of some problems so that's why uh, i just created i somehow managed and created some selection around this and now select your brush tool oh sorry brush layer and press alt plus backspace to fill this with the green color it's not a big deal you can choose any color so i have used green color now we will create another layer name this layer as uh, effect make sure that both of these layers name are starting from a capital letter and 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 other letters are in lower case okay so this is effect e double f e c t effect and now we'll give a selection press control and click on our brush layer thumbnail and click create a selection now we'll select our brush tool from the brush tool we will change now color to any color but different from this color and now uh we will use a hard brush make sure that hardness is 100 percent and we will give it a direction okay so we will select the area on which this effect will be applied like this uh i think i am fine with that you can see that and uh, yes that's great now press ctrl d and now you can see that we have our overall layer selection and then we will give this area on which this uh, uh, this dispersion will be applied so now it's time to load our brushes and actions so go to edit uh, preset manager and from the preset manager make sure that you have a preset type to brushes click on load from the when you will click on load go to your file where you have downloaded that open the folder which you have downloaded and there is a brush file for the brushes click on this brushes and click on load uh let's just again load them and these our brushes are loaded so click on done now we'll go to our actions yeah here is the action button if it is not here just go to windows click on actions from the actions go to this uh, side panel icon and click on load actions from the load actions you will see that there is a feather action which you have downloaded from my blog click on feather and click on load okay so now we have two feather brushes because uh, actions so just delete previous one and this one okay now we have uh, feather uh, actions they are four directions uh, left right up and down for this image you know that we will do a right one so click on right extract that we don't need to do purge but before do anything else make sure that you have a high definition image i forgot to tell you in start so that's why go to this layers panel click on panel options here panel options 
and from the panel options make sure that you have a add copy to copy layers and groups now click on ok now we will click on play button and it will take a little time so we will wait for the process to complete its work okay so the process is done and you can see that the results are amazing so just close this uh, actions palette and now you can see that we have a nice output but you can see that our background is disappeared just because this black color takes place but when we will remove that you will see that it looks weird okay and I don't think it's a nice thing so what we will do is we'll select this uh, turn on this black and select this black uh, whatever is this uh, white uh, thumbnail change your foreground color to black press your brush tool size it up and we'll select a soft brush rounded soft brush and then we'll simply just paint it on this brush but you can see that it's not uh, visible uh, at all you can see that just turn and on and you will see that now uh, it's not worth and now it's working now you can see that it is taking its place back let's just get back our background and now you can see that I have just completely recovered our background mm, that's the thing which was difficult but we have did it so you can just turn this off permanently permanently sorry and uh, you can do a lot more cool things in that as i did and uh, there are lots of things you can change inside these actions like uh, some color options you can turn them on it's uh, it will make it dark and uh, there are some white background you can see that it's a white background also you can do same thing with that but i think this black is much better and visible much betterly and you just play with these actions you can create uh, your custom colors like using uh, this curve or uh, levels uh, just go to this uh, blues uh, like this you can make it much much amazing or uh, if you don't want to this just go to levels and you can do the same thing with levels just uh, do this one and you will see that it looks uh, much and way better uh, you can turn off the blues you can just go to reds and you can turn on the reds also so play with the action this is the basic settings as, as I showed you and uh, these are some brushes inside that which are used in this so these are image uh, effects you can see that these are particles small particles big particles and uh, you can make copies of these particles let me just show you where are copies uh, these are some small particles press ctrl j v and you can move them also but i think it's uh, not a good good thing so let's just shift and now we can move these randomly and uh, your choice is depends on you so uh, you can make copies of it and uh, these are some small particles big particles these are composition of these things and uh, this is what we you can do and play with these actions you will get a lot more cool things so i hope you like this video if you found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to get more amazing videos we will meet in our next video and one more thing before we close uh, our other things uh, make sure that uh, to subscribe this channel and because your subscription is really amazing for me and it gives a nice uh, encouragement to me so we will meet in our next video all the links are given in the description bar uh, i forgot tell these things so we are going to download these actions we will meet in our next video never stop and keep learning